Welcome back, Godly Vibes family. Pray everybody is good. Today's episode, I want to show you guys this lady confronting this witch. Um, I don't know if this is some kind of show. I don't know what it is. However, either way, no matter what it is, it's an example of courage being shown, right? And I want to show you guys that because a lot of people get into this space of fear and not wanting to speak out in, in necessary times where they should voice their 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 thoughts, voice the truth ultimately if you are voicing uh, the word of God. Hallelujah. So I want to show you guys this, this lady confronting this witch, confronting this psychic, this medium, who tried to tell her her grandmother was behind her. <laughs> and the lady said, no, that's a demon. And watch the reaction from the psychic. Watch this. I could see, you know, your grandmother standing behind that's you. That's not my grandmother, darling. That's no, a demon. I it's not my what's, what's a demon? It's demonic. It's well, not, how do you it's know it's that. demonic? Because it's not of God. Says who? Says the Bible? It's very clear Bible? in the Bible about sorcerers, soothsayers, and they are demonic. They're not of God. That's such a really hurtful thing to say yes, right I now know, to say but demonic. That's why I wouldn't bother. Don't say that I'm talking bother. through demonic. Like, I don't believe this is my grandmother. I think it's what a demon. You? I think you're a demon the way you're acting. This demonic bull. It's ridiculous. You're pissing me off. That is such Sorry. a nasty thing to say. Nasty, it's my it is nasty. What? I'm speaking through demons? Yep. You would assume that somebody who dabbles in that sort of thing would be used to having skeptics. Now this is really starting to piss me off. You don't yeah. do that. Yeah. You don't sit here now and put me down and saying sort of me. Maybe you're doing this to get a rise out of people, to put people down. Maybe you've got little things set up in your own little head. Maybe exactly. that's the way you, you you live your life. That wasn't my grandmother. I just can't believe I'm sitting here listening to this. I'm speaking through demonics. It's not about Jackie. It's about what I know or what I think. I said I don't think that's my grandmother behind me. I think it's. You never said that. You didn't say that on the night. You should have said that on the night. Why didn't you say that on the night? I'm saying it now. It's the most childish experience. This whole thing. That's your character. That says a lot. You know, you feel challenged, that's fine. I don't feel challenged. I don't like Ladies and gentlemen, do you see the manifestation that is happening? This person got so upset because truth started to pierce them. That's what happens when a conviction starts to hit. You can act in a couple different ways. You can, you know, try to ignore it. You can walk away. You can try to stay there and it's, you're going to feel the anger rise. Because the spirits are being affected. You're piercing them and hitting them with truth. That's not, that's a demon. Whoa, I'm called out. I'm called out. They're going to manifest to the surface. What do you think, what do you think is going to happen? That's such a nasty thing to say. That's such a nasty, it's a nasty thing to say. That you're operating the way you're operating. You may not know what it is and she may know what it is. But it's a nasty thing to say. Really. You think she doesn't have different people, you know, uh, questioning what she does? Why is it so effective when the Bible gets involved? Why is the spirit so triggered when the Bible gets involved, when the word of God gets involved? There's a reason for that. Because it, it knows you're telling the truth now. If somebody's saying something to a psychic, a medium, a witch, whatever, and they're questioning them, but they're doing it with another lie, they don't care about stuff like that. They're like, no, sweetheart, it's not that. But when you question them and you do it with the word of God, you do it with actual truth, oh, it's going to hit them hard. Because now what's on them knows that you're speaking truth. And they can get casted out from truth. You think they want that? No, that anger is going to rise up. That anger is going to rise up. I want to give you guys some verses, though. Hallelujah. For you guys to understand that there's no need to be afraid. There's no need to have fear because you're with the Lord. Hallelujah. Exodus 15, 2. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. Hallelujah. Psalms 28, 7 through 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him. Put your heart in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your whole heart, your soul, your mind. Your body completely in trust of God. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should you 100% trust other than your father, other than God. Now, they, now, granted, there's people you love that you trust, but nobody should get 100% other than God Almighty. Hallelujah. You can never be, the Lord will never betray you. The Lord will always be faithful. Hallelujah. Nehemiah 8.10. Do, this is the difference with God, right? And, and this is what I mean by nobody should be, have 100%. There's many people out here 
that you love and love you. You trust them and they trust you. But if you do something to somebody or if you betray them a certain type of way, that trust can be gone like that. Even when you apologize, even when you ask for forgiveness, and even if you mean it in your heart, it doesn't mean they're going to just, that trust can be gone forever. But God sees your heart. God can forgive you. God will forgive you. If you truly repent, who's better, who, who's better than God? That is still be there for you. Even on your worst days, when you pick yourself up and say, God, I'm ready. Lord, I'm sorry. I forgive you, son. I forgive you, daughter. I love you. Who will always be there. Who will always be faithful. Hallelujah. Nehemiah 8.10. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Psalm 118.14. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is my strength of my heart and my, po- my portion forever. Hallelujah. First Chronicles, 1 Chronicles 16, 11, The God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you save me from violence. Hallelujah. The Lord saves you from demonic activity. The Lord saves you from darkness and you being covered in darkness and really submerged in darkness, not seeing any light. How many of you on 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 here have been so in, in a space where you were hopeless and couldn't see hope until God showed up? Even in a dark full a dark room full of darkness, you seen the light flicker. And you said, What what is your soul said, what is that? What is that? Your soul said. And the Lord said, It's me. Hallelujah. Isaiah 25, 4. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for Yah, the Lord is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Amen. Psalm 37, 23 to 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Hallelujah. Those who truly believe in the Lord and those who truly follow God, he will light up your pathway. With every step, you ever seen the Michael Jackson uh, video where he's walking and every step is it comes to light, comes to light, comes to light. Hallelujah. You, you can put that in the same context. As you walk, the Lord is illuminating your footsteps if they are in him, because there is no condemnation in Christ for those who walk in the spirit, for those who are in the spirit, not in the flesh. For those who are truly in a place of engrafting the word of God, eating the bread. Hallelujah, being born again, being baptized and cleansed with the water of the word. For those who are truly in that space, their steps will be illuminated. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Delights in him. Steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may, though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Hallelujah. Though you may lose a battle here and there, you will not lose the war. Though you may stumble, you keep your faith in God. You keep your hope in Yeshua, my brothers and sisters. You continue to keep your hope in Yeshua and your faith in God. Hallelujah. You may stumble here and there, but you will never fall. Stay on the ground. Amen. I pray you guys were touched with that. I'm, I'm, I'm basically saying have no fear, my brothers and sisters. If you feel led by the Lord to speak, you speak. If you feel led by the Lord to jump, you jump. Have discernment. Don't be afraid when the Lord is telling you to do something. Amen. I know a lot of people have trouble with that. They, uh, they have fear and they, they, they get afraid with different things. And then they're like, oh, my gosh, well, um, uh, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I should do this. If it's the Lord, be obedient. Hallelujah. The Lord has a will for each and every one of us. He has purpose for each and every one of us. Sometimes it's not what you expect or think. You get, you get what I'm saying? 
but it may be your purpose. Amen. Step into it. Step into a place of full submission with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.